All of this technology change certainly has an impact on IT. But it's interesting, Gartner estimates that by 2017, over 55% of IT spending will be outside of IT. So what's the evolving role of the CIO, who's still helping make some of these technology choices, or should be helping make some of these technology choices? You have new positions like the chief digital officer in many organizations that are taking shape. You've got the rise of the chief marketing officer because there's a lot more online commerce than there ever was before. So the CIO really has to be a partner with the business more so than ever before. One of the things that they've been saying consistently, whether it's customers in Europe, whether it's across North America, whether it's across Asia, is I want to enable the developer. Oftentimes developers are sitting inside of the business writing these new applications and services that IT is going to need to manage. In this world of shifting budgets to the business, IT is trying to remain relevant to the business by partnering and enabling their developers who are writing these new systems and services. It enables them to manage the environment, allow the developers and the chief marketing officers and the chief digital officers to make the technology choices they need to make to support the business. And in return, the CIO leverages technologies that gives them that flexibility but allows them to maintain the efficiency of managing all of those technology choices on the back end in a consistent way. Whether it's service management excellence, agility, a multi-source cloud environment, big data, all of these are concepts and technology choices and delivery models that organizations are going to wrestle with. All of this technology makes up the digital enterprise. And smart CIOs and business people are going to need a digital enterprise management platform.